There's a lot of background I won't be trying to tell you about. Um, uh, I'm having to gavel now. The other, one other main thing is it's the 14th of December, which is, I think, St. Lucy's Day, which is, was, has been a ceremony all over the place, Celtic, pre-Celtic, um, lights in the, the young girls in Sweden and places have candles, tiaras of candles and things, and we call it pagan, but I think it's much deep, more than that. And um, it's just a lovely custom, whatever your faith is or isn't. And I wanted to connect that, and this happened to be, I, I was hoping to get stuff back to Katie way before now. Um, Try to jump quickly. Oh yes, the, the thing when we started Ideas for Here was St. Clement. Who was St. Clement? One of the, there's, I think there's two or three St. Clements. And this one, there's a lot of different information, but um, in one of the, I'm jumping, in, in one of the war poetry writings that I and friends are very close to, a, a phrase comes up, he was clement and loving. But what does clement mean? It means merciful. It gets very interesting. There's a whole story about how it happened. And then the other day, um, I've been to loads of meetings this week, just drowning. And there was one with a set of arts people from another um, network. And I was thinking about this. Oh, yes. And we last met at a British Museum exhibition in the summer of 2011, which was, it was about the different saints. And the different saints, I've got pictures somewhere, the different saints had different sort of roles, saints days, things that they stood for. I thought, well, let's add St. Clement in. And I've got pictures, but obviously can't show them quickly. So I intend to myself pick up this thing, pick up the merciful loving and how it comes up in war poetry as well. And the other thing, as quick as I can, um, somebody said that there won't be another chance for a venue. Well, let's make another chance. I would like to actually invite a few people to look at, I've got a small chance to do something in a different way. I don't get the chance to talk with people much at all. It goes very sick at home, I mean, not well at all and all that. But a little bit inside it, this is the bit that matters, Stop what the other people say. But I need chance to talk about it and share it with other people. What do they think? So I would quite willingly find somewhere in either Tower Hamlets or somewhere around which is quiet and decent, find a way of covering it, hopefully before New Year, which is probably impossible, and share with those people the thoughts I've had growing for since 2000, since the, since the sorry, um, 80s, 70s and 80s, have been brewing and brewing and brewing. And, well, that's it really. And if anyone's interested, would they let me know before they go home? And I'll work with Nat or whoever and find a way of making an invitation. It could connect with Whitechapel Gallery, Freedom Bookshop, what's left of it, or some other German church. There's all sorts of places around that I think might be glad to encourage quieter voices and perhaps where people haven't been used to being able to sound things out. That's what I need to say at the moment. I hope that's okay. Thank you.